Yes. Please make sure that you remember to set your clocks back an hour tonight. You gain an hour of sleep and always a good idea uh, to change the batteries in the smoke detectors too. You got to do this twice a year. I know I think I stole Laura's thunder. She always <laughs> likes to plug that, but uh, not a bad time to check those as well. So what this means for us is that tomorrow's the day that I usually say gets a little scary. Today, the sun doesn't come up until 745. That's pretty late. It sets just before six o'clock. Tomorrow and Monday, when you get out of work at around 5 o'clock, the sun will set and it will likely be dark. But sunrise will happen an hour earlier and happen just before 7 o'clock. So just kind of brace for that, that when you get out of work on Monday evening and tomorrow night, will start to be darker a little bit quicker. As for today, temperatures are starting off on the mild side. For the beginning of November, we should be sitting in the mid 30s around this time of day. Instead, downtown Syracuse is close to 50 degrees. The fairgrounds is close as well. North Syracuse is at 47, 48 apiece at Clay and Cicero and Lakeport up to 46 in Manlius. Now temperatures have been climbing for the climbing for the past several hours. Still a few cool spots in the 30s like Norwich and Binghamton, but everything is on the rise and it's without sunshine. That's because our winds right now are coming out of the south, bringing some milder air in. So while Todd from Westdale is usually reading a little bit closer to freezing, he's at 39 this morning along with Rome. Then things are going to change later on today. Triple Doppler brought to you by RomanoCars.com is dry locally. Notice this small batch of showers and sprinkles that's pushing in from the north. This is a weak frontal boundary along with this system that's going to change things up. Instead of things coming from the south and west, things are going to start to come from the west and northwest. That means cooler air is on the way. Temperatures don't rise all that much today and clouds are stubborn all day long through noon. Mostly cloudy skies, very limited breaks of sunshine today, and they're likely to occur in the afternoon. Can't rule out a stray sprinkle for the morning hours. Through noon, though, I think the Finger Lakes and places to the south and west of Syracuse start to stay dry. Anything Syracuse 41 and north and east might get into some lake enhanced sprinkles or some light showers that extend all the way through Oneida County. Again, today, temperatures not rising all that much. I'm thinking maybe some mid 50s in the Finger Lakes and Syracuse, cooler up to the north and east, hanging back into the upper 40s and low 50s. Overnight tonight, because of mostly cloudy skies, by early Sunday morning, temperatures are in the low 40s. So a similar start to today, we really start to dry things out by the day on Sunday. We'll start off with stubborn cloud cover. Again, you get that extra hour of sleep. Then we'll look at increasing sunshine. Still some clouds around during the day on Sunday. We clear things right out for Monday. Wall to wall sunshine feeling really nice. Seasonal temperatures. High pressure is pretty much in control for most of the week. The only exception late election day and early Wednesday morning. They might get into a few showers and next weekend could bring a big cool down. So make sure you get our Weather Authority app brought to you by CNYRealtor.com, interactive Doppler, an hour by hour forecast, and a 10 day forecast to help you plan out your day.